talking a little earlier before we started this session to someone who did, and she heard about it this week. This is something that, as Gina mentioned, uh, people have been fighting for a year. This person lives in the neighborhood. She lives within the area affected by the project, and she heard about it this week. So who else didn't hear about it? Who else doesn't know about it, didn't know, doesn't know about it right now? Who else is in their house putting their kids to bed? They know that they live in a dangerous area. Everyone knows that. They know they live in an area that's making their kids sick. Everyone knows that. But they didn't, people didn't know about this project. People didn't know that a project that was going to wake up this additional risk and this additional danger to their lives and their health was going forward next door. They didn't know. So that's one thing. And my question would be, when were you planning to tell them? So that's one question. The other question has to do um, with the problem of stormwater and rain. Uh, I noticed that um, you mentioned those piles of dirt that you were going to cover in plastic. I don't know if people have noticed what the rain has been like this summer, <laughs> what the weather's been like. Uh, as the climate changes, um, which it would change more uh, if this project went forward to its completion, um, which we will hope it will not do, uh, but even now, with what we've got, um, more and more of these what are called microburst rainstorms are predicted. So very, very, very heavy rain, in a very, very short period of time. The more of those you have, the less likely it is that the procedures that you have in place are going to protect uh, anyone um, from the way that the stormwater is going to interact with the soil and the groundwater that's contaminated on this site. So that's another question that I have. Um, is this company taking into account the changes which its procedures are causing, right, as a fossil fuel company? Is it taking into account the way that the changed climate is going to require changes in its safety procedures. So I guess like a question about the notification we did mail it out a couple weeks before the meeting started. We mailed it out to the um, hip mailing list, uh, directed butters to the project areas, um, easement holders, tenants of the property. Um, Renowned DM also posted on the website that's dedicated to this um, property that the meeting would be taking place. Not the meeting, the project. This person didn't know about the project. They didn't know that this project was being proposed for the place where they live. Are you talking about the STRAP project? LNG. The LNG project and the STRAP project as well. Nothing. No information. That seems like the kind of thing that people would want to know, and it would be fair to tell them. Well, tonight we're here to talk about the soil and groundwater handling procedures. Uh, so I'm going to try to address your second question about the stormwater. Um, when we are in active construction and we're managing the stockpiles and erosion controls, all of those tools that we use are inspected on a daily basis. They require maintenance, we address that that day. Uh, so I understand your concern, but we do have procedures for that and we're prepared for that type of weather events. What happens in the next, uh, what was it? A hundred year storm? What happens when something gets past the hurricane barrier? I'm sorry. What happens when something gets past the hurricane barrier? When a storm gets past the hurricane barrier? Yeah, I, so then? I'm not sure, I'm understanding your question. What happens when the facility is faced, if it is built, is faced with a, with a weather event that it's not prepared to like a, handle? Like a Katrina type storm is what she's asking, yeah. something like that. Because it's on the far side of the barrier, it won't be protected by the barrier. It won't be protected. I mean, fortunately in this day and age, we have advanced warning for storms. <laughs> Are you going to move the tank? <laughs> I, I'm strictly talking about construction activities that were uh, presented on tonight, not addressing any questions about the LNG facility itself tonight. I don't know what this is.